I'm the emperor. I run fast. I was a superhero. How lukewarm. Fucky saggy fuck say. I play with puzzles. Yeah. For Fosuki on me and um a few days ago I uploaded the top 23 video and I talked about Nagi oh, I didn't talk about but the panel was showing Nagi failed that was not a clickbait that was me talking about a, that was me showcasing a potential new video which is what I'm going to be talking about today this is going to be talking about why Nagi needs to fail in blue lock he needs to be eliminated in this thing because how do I say this Nagi needs to die. Barrow said this and uh, um, after the Uber's match against Manshine that you need to die at once and then come back stronger. And he even says you're borrowing a fake, e a sorry, you're using a bald ego. And if you think about it, it makes sense. His own ego, which was a very bad one, was to be the saggy. He let that known to Chris in the beginning of the NEL. And when he did beat him, bro died. Bro looked like he had like, he busted a nut and then it was all over. And then after the game, Rail takes notice of the fact that Nagi's like down and he doesn't have, Nagi says he doesn't have any motivation. He doesn't know what he's doing anymore. And then Rail comes up with a plan that since Nagi even says he can't envision himself be taking on the best in the world or becoming the best, that they should just get 300 million. And the reason why Nagi was pumped up about beating Isagi is because like Isagi made soccer fun and like interesting. Similar to Bachua and Isagi in the first um, selection where Nagi truly took the initiative to fight by himself. Or Bao even when he was just um, mocking Rail. So Nagi had to um, really cook up for a second by making an interesting goal because Bao just called his previous goal um, boring and he talked about him being real slave so he had to um he couldn't hold that so he just this um came with a menacing goal you all know that five two goal um what was i talking about yeah with isagi and bachua nagi didn't care because they had a free no lead but when ba um he saw them fighting he was questioning why are they fighting why are they trying so hard to commit to winning even though they're down free no and then when Isagi scores and beats him, Nagi has this frustrating fever. And this fever is because Isagi beat him and he says it's gone. But then he realizes he has a chance to team up with Isagi and he wants to feel more of this fever that he calls it his heat. His not ego, but like the heat that is temporarily keeping him going. So he plays with him. And then he ends up losing Isagi because Isagi goes with Rin's team. Now let's get into episode Nagi. And in chapter 20, the chapter is called Ignorance. And he um he rightly states the line, I know that you don't know a lot about soccer. That is your weakness, the ignorance, because you're a prodigy, so you can just basically have the skill sets to get things done. Meanwhile, you don't have enough knowledge or um, he didn't say it, but basically he's saying that Nagi doesn't give a fuck about soccer. He's just good at it. And if you don't have the passion, you're not going to be able to go far in life. If you're passionate, this but talented, you won't go far in life. Life lesson for you guys. Okay, but now what does that mean? Hiragi gave everyone cards. Um, Nagi's was death. Baro was the hangman. And Hey guys, I want to introduce you to a stick log manga made by Ritter Z himself. Since we're talking about hangman and you know hangmans are usually stick people in the game we play as kids or adults in our basements. Um, basically it starts off in like, um, I forget what city, but in chapter one, basically it's um, four years after Blue Lock was first created. So Isagi Yorichi has um, survived the 300 motherfuckers of Blue Lock. And now we're heading into a whole new cast of characters. And we use the JFU president with um, that Bashuta 
Tara guy being her concubine basically um or I'm um, taking her orders I honestly thought Ari would have been good for that job but it's all good but yeah definitely go check out his YouTube channel for that but for some reason the audio and the pictures aren't really clear so I would suggest if you don't really have a good time with YouTube Discord is your best bet because Discord has all the chapters there and even the latest one and it's all like looking really good high high quality images from there anyway just definitely go check it out very good look for you enjoy Chigiri was like I forget the name but Chigiri's was meant for Nico because it was like Nico chose the wrong team and he he was seduced into this new belief that the data he had on um those three players would get him to win but he was um betrayed at and by Hiragi once shit started not going well for them he just um started trash talking my boy Nico like that and Zantetsu is because he unlike Chigiri when he sprints he can get tired very easily and he can like sprint all the time and his endurance is pretty ass not gonna lie so he couldn't keep up with Baro now Baro and Chigiri overcame their weaknesses like I just talked about how they dealt with Zantetsu and Nico Nagi never did in the match I always was talking about Nagi cooked this, Nagi cooked that, but I was just like on the hype train because um Nagi scored and it's like been so long since Nagi's done anything of relevance. So him doing that in Blue Lock episode Nagi, I was glazing the hell out of him, but I knew I was gonna make this video. So um, for those who were on me, I apologize. I just wanted um those Nagi fans to have some relief before I came to the um came for the asses with this video. So this is me being painfully honest about Nagi. And Nagi just caught a ball. He literally just caught a ball because Hiragi cooked um, Chigiri and Barrel, and Nagi scored a goal. That was it. So the f and he also says when he's beating him, I mean like I'm um, winning the match for his team. He basically says, my, "I know my weakness." But I can't overcome that ignorance of soccer just yet. And he's never had the chance to because the story's been moving so fast for him. Which is like, um, after this was the third selection and that was only like 10 to 20 days at best. Um, we also had um, the U20 match and then it came to the NEL. And in the U20 match, after the U20 match, you guys saw Nagi was just playing video games the whole time. He was not giving a damn about soccer. So, how does this lead into the NEL now? Um, let me just make sure I have my points in order. Okay, good. So, Nagi enters this. We all know the story. The problem is he faces Isagi first. And even if he didn't face Isagi first, he still would have lost. And his card, the death, is very reminiscent of what Bao said. They both talk about Nagi's death coming in. And Isagi, when beating them, says there won't be any more miracles. Nagi's um, first downfall game coming against Rin is pretty ironic because um, Rin is probably the most reproductive blue locker because Kaiser's um, goal formula is pretty reproductive if people don't interrupt the Kaiser impact but yeah Rin has found his goal form his perfect goal formula for scoring goals as he scored a similar goal against um Ubers and Manshine it was a bit different against um Barcha but like he's found a perfect goal formula thanks to Charles but now he's gonna have to like use a different way of getting that perfect for goal formula but enough about Rin this is a Nagi video Nagi has no goal formula as he always relies on other people to shut up brian um sorry about that guys um basically nagi boy you haven't even watched episode eight of blue lock what the hell do you want you don't even know who nagi is calm the fuck down um yeah so basically nagi has no goal formula as ego said that goal was too good for him and there's no way he's going to replicate that shit in hell over and over and over. And such a goal like that can lead your ego to slump. And especially with someone like Nagi who has no ego. 
unlike Yukimiya who did perform a feat but thankfully didn't score as Igo said that would have uh, made him have an ego slump and he barely avoided that thank you Chris Prince for saving this man's life but it didn't really matter because you can me a shit right now animes you're welcome for that um basically Nagi is in a slump because he scored something way too above him and he doesn't know what he's gonna do anymore I've talked about this downfall video and it's probably one of my highest videos so you should check that out if you want more content, but I'm just bringing updated content because this this crisis has been insanely uprising. And in the Barcha match, um, basically Bachua kind of had to not die, but Bachua was saved by Nagi in the match, and Bachua could just try and save him by showing Nagi why soccer is fun, but Nagi needs to leave. Okay, let's get into what could happen. Nagi shouldn't make the top 23 because he needs to actually figure out his own ego. In chapter 247, he talks, he has the flow or that he's gonna, we need to change. But I don't buy that bullshit because you can talk the talk, but you can't walk the walk unless you actually prove the balls. Nagi saying that he's gonna do something sure it hypes everyone up because of the manga which means the author could provide it or it could just be him talking because nagi has a history of like being like gohan from dragon ball z who has unlimited potential as when he deals with what he needs to deal with he goes into um he just stops trying anymore like gohan would just stop training and thankfully in the new dragon ball super chapters he's finally like progressively training even when the earth is in peace but now to nagi nagi is even worse than gohan because when shit gets bad he gives up when shit went bad for him in the um team the team v matchup he did try to carry but next thing you know he's going to fight with isagi and even though he did win against hiragi it was bao and shigui carrying him you can't he can't fight alone even though he says I was able to fight without Bao and Isagi. Bo had Bao and Chigiri. They were going to come for any team besides um, Rin's team and maybe Karasu's team. Because ah, actually, it would probably be Karasu's team too. Um, But yeah, it's tough. It's really tough for Na um, Nagi, Bao and Chigiri to lose. So if you gave Ch Nagi two fodder bums, they would lose instantly badly. Oh yeah, shout out to True First video because um he did talk about um a Nagi theory I was gonna have on like Nagi being fourth place because of the top five in the end of the U20 match. Damn it, bro! I was gonna make a Nagi t um hat trick theory, but I'ma save that for another time. Um, but yeah, Nagi's never had an ego of his own. It's always been real challenging him first with the World Cup next with um the 300 million bit um yen but like seriously bro that's not gonna do it and back to chapter 247 rail says i think i may have a plan that could work it's rail again giving him another damn task like nagi needs to find a task for himself like when he wanted to be saggy that was peak nagi right there although we knew it was gonna end up badly that was nagi at his best so, Nagi needs to get eliminated and reevaluate his life and see if he actually wants to play football and figure out his own ego. This would be good for him and Rayo as Aggie does say that um, you guys are too codependent on each other and you guys need to separate before you both are doomed. Rayo is going to get dragged in with Nagi if Rayo doesn't start performing on his own soon. Nagi, Rail just needs to like Nagi go and just die, and Rail needs to go complete his dream. I don't know if Nagi will come back for like the actual World Cup, like a demon or a, of a monster, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, is there any more I can add on to this topic? Rin's statement doesn't really help Nagi. Isagi talks about miracles, and I did say there was going to be no more miracles. I think I've talked enough about this topic. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comment sections. 
this is not a good day to talk about because episode 90 is coming the movie's coming but like you never know but honestly Hiragi, Isagi, Baro, Agi, Ego, they've all alluded to the fact that Nagi's gotta die and it's gonna happen sooner or later. Peace out.